I want to explain what a reduction is. Here I've got some balsamic vinegar and here I've got a hot pan. Take your hot pan and you just pour your balsamic vinegar in and we let it reduce. Now what does a reduction actually mean? Let me explain it. If you put a cup of liquid into a pan and you reduce it to half a cup, then of course you reduce the liquid by half. You don't reduce the flavour by half. You increase the viscosity, so it's going to get a little bit thicker, a little bit sweeter, a little bit more intense. So whatever the flavour is in here, it's going to increase when you make a reduction out of it. Now, you can use vinegar to make a reduction with, like the balsamic I'm using. You could use some orange juice, you can use red wine or port. Anything basically that's a liquid that you want to intensify the flavour of, you can reduce. So what I'm going to do is take this beautiful acidic sweet vinegar, the balsamic, and I'm going to make it even sweeter and even more acidic. So by reducing it down, I'm going to thicken it up and then I'll be able to just drizzle it around a plate like this antipasta plate, which I've just got some figs and some prosciutto on. Okay, so once the reduction's been on a while, just have a look at it and you can either eyeball it and sort of say, okay, it's reduced enough to where I'm, I'm content. Turn off your heat and remember, as it cools down, it's going to continue to get thicker and thicker. So don't over reduce it. If you do make that mistake, you can always add a little bit of water back and then bring it back up to the heat. Okay, take your reduction off. Make sure it's sort of the right kind of consistency, which this is looking pretty good. And then I'm just going to drizzle a little bit around the outside of my uh, antipasta plate. Beautiful. So that's it. Super versatile. You can reduce any sort of liquid you want and it can really bring a plate of food to life.